Welcome. Incoming freshmen to Anytown University are encouraged to complete a transfer level English and a transfer level math course during their first year on campus. During their first semester, 50% of incoming students are enrolled only in a transfer level English course, 40% of incoming students are enrolled only in a transfer level math course, 20% of incoming students are enrolled in both a transfer level English course and a transfer level math course. Are taking transfer level math courses and a transfer level English course independent events? Okay, so let's begin by labeling our events. Let's say event E is student is enrolled in a transfer level English course. Event M is student is enrolled in a transfer level math course. Now let's figure out what some probabilities are and let's begin with the English course. So of these incoming students, 50% of them are enrolled in only a transfer level English course. So that is the probability of E is 0 0.5. Of these incoming students, 40% of them are enrolled only in a transfer level math course, so the probability of M is 0 0.4. And then finally, 20% of these incoming students are enrolled in both a transfer level English, excuse me, a transfer level English and a transfer level math course. So that is the probability of E and M is equal to 0 0.2. We can also write this as the probability of E intersect M. Now, how can we show that these are independent or not? Well, in order for these events to be independent, one of the following must be true. That is, the probability of E given M is equal to the probability of E. That is, the probability that a randomly selected student is taking a transfer level English course given that the selected student is taking a transfer level math course is equal to the probability that a student is taking a transfer level English course. Similarly, we can show independence by showing this is true or by showing we can select any of these three to demonstrate that M and E are independent. So I'm going to try this bottom one here. And you could try the others as well. This one is just really straightforward. So let's see, what is the probability that a student is taking a transfer level math course times the probability that a student is taking a transfer level English course? Well, that's 0 0.4 times 0 0.5. This works out to be 0 0.2. And if you notice, that is precisely the probability that a student is taking both a transfer level English and a transfer level, oopsies, math course. So since the probability that a student is taking both of these transfer level math courses is equal to the product of the probabilities, it follows that taking a transfer level math course is independent of taking a transfer level English course. I hope you found my video helpful.